What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I want to talk about Labor Guide. It's finally here, actually it's ready. Make sure you click on help and check for update to enroll with Labor Guide. There, I have, there is no um, uh, additional fees or anything, just part of the subscription that you have. Um, uh, and the way it works, basically it's really simple. It's a shared network. Basically it's a shared data between all the shops. Uh, when you when you you update VIP, just go to build RO right here. Click on labor guide, and it's actually it's gonna prompt you to enroll basically. And what what does that mean? It's gonna upload your data. We're only going for the past two years as of right now and see what happens. So it's gonna upload your data for the past two years, and um, because we don't know, it's an overflow. We don't know what's going on yet. And once you upload your data, you will see this screen right here. It's only, and it's going to say that the age of labor guy, it's only one day old. So calm down if you're, if you're clicking on certain parts after that and you're not finding anything, just give it some time. It's going to fill automatically, automatically. So the whole idea of this labor guide is just a shared network. I call it real labor guide, the real, real, because I think there's another real labor guide. Uh, forget that. This is the real, real, real labor guide. It's the VIP labor guide. Um, it's based on, on multiple things. It's based on, on, on multiple shops. Uh, you're going to have two. You're going to have one that the most voted and the average. The average is, is always changing. As more data comes in daily, it changes and it changes. So always updates automatically. Uh, shifts and when if there's like if there's thumbs down more than thumbs up it changes automatically so the whole idea it has to be self automated uh, are we gonna interfere at some point and and if there's like errors or multiple data yes yeah. so we're gonna again it's gonna be self automated because you know I'm not, I don't have the time and sit and add every single line or or, or modify every single line it's gonna be basically uh, the shops automation automatically is gonna be like um, managing it seriously like everything is self-managed um, uh, we'll do cleaning daily but self-managed too just to make sure there is no duplicate data it does check for duplicate data I think we added just three shops and we have over 5,000 um, 5,000 records from three shops so it's gonna be in the millions for sure once uh, once it's fully loaded and we're getting so much data every day so it's always it's it's the most beautiful thing i don't know if anybody ever done that i'm sure maybe maybe not um but it's gonna called be be called vip labor guide and once you start selling it's seeing the data filled in like it's really cool i mean you don't need to be technically you need you don't need to come in here unless you need to uh it's supposed to be automate automatic so if i add them um, um, let's go get an air filter real quick from parts type the fastest way air filter and let's just add this more crap right here so if I click add in now oh, I added the labor if I click on it it's automatically it's gonna search and find it it's gonna give you the average hours and just click update so the whole idea is I don't want to uh, you don't need to come in here and search obviously the the search is kind of they're only read it and the only reason I added search for sometimes you do need to come in and search for something but two, so we can see it growing right like you know if I go to this section this category oh, it's only our filter it should be like full of stuff and then we'll make the search here work uh, remember it's just one day old um, let's go back to airbag. You see, there's nothing in airbag. Go back to body. There's nothing in body. It's for this vehicle. Brake pads. See, there's some duplicate uh, data right here. That's okay. It's all gonna be cleaned up, and it's gonna give you the average. Don't worry about that. Uh, but you can see, like, um, let's see, uh, drive belts. Is any? Yeah, there's serpentine belt right there. Is it? I mean, I'm telling you, it's gonna be filling in every day um electric but in one week for sure in one week um you're gonna see uh more uh, uh let's put it this way like it's gonna start filling in automatic yeah okay think about it this way we have over 2000 2000 shops across the country that use vip shop management um for the past just two years i'm not gonna go more than two years for the past two years you want to tell me 
um, whatever, it, every single part that goes bad on that car has not happened on those 2000 shops. Of course, it has happened. So I believe we have not just enough data. I believe we have more data um, uh, to, to fill this whole thing up. And then once I see this one is working really good, then I'll do one for specs. Uh, I don't know how much specs. I know I'll be doing uh, like the oil viscosity, oil capacity. And you don't, you don't understand what we're building here. We're building uh, something more valuable than, than Mitchell One and Motor, um, uh, and Motor uh, like Labor Guide. Why? Because you can see like who, how much they're charging. We've never seen that. We used to think that, um, you know, like, okay, if I go 4.5, am I going overboard? Am I going underboard? Now you can tell, you can see because you're gonna have two labor guide. If you look at uh, um, electrical right here, let's say the alternator right here, 2.5. Again, the, you know, once we get the average, so we know. Um, uh, so you'll see like how many votes. It gives you more confidence. Like I know it says one thumbs up, but that's uh, in one week you're gonna see this five and seven and ten and hundred and thousand. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but. And to transfer, really simple, if you were ever here and you want to transfer, just click on it and transfer it. And that's it, it brings it here, so. So go ahead and enroll. And um, let's just celebrate the birth of VIP labor guys. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate you guys until next time. Thanks for watching.